Right. I'm going to get right down to this and talk to you about a fantastic plugin that I, I just spotted, which is a free JSFX for, that has been written by a guy called Nitz Ugg, N-I-T-S-U-J. I don't know how you spell that. I'll do a little screenshot here. Let me just um, see if I can get this sorted out. If I just swizz the, the camera around, which I can't do. But if I give you a screenshot of the page on the Reaper forums, I hope that's came out. We'll see. But what I'll do is I'll put all links in the description so that you can go and find this for yourself. Um, absolutely amazing what this guy's done. He's written an EQ plugin, which it could rival FabFilters Pro Q2. I mean, the only things that I found that's missing is uh, soloing bands. But who's to say that's not to come? If you read through the forum, my God, he's so open to updates and etc. and listening to people. So anyway, let's not bullshit about it anymore. What I'll do is I'll show you how to install this thing. So if you download it from the links from the forum, um, you will end up after you, uh, where is it now? Here it is, um, uh, zipped. I unzipped it into a folder and I copied and pasted that into, if we open up, show Reaper resources and paths, open it up into effects. Okay, so there it is in here. So, I just copied and pasted it into this Reaper uh, effects folder. I mean, I've got mine in a special place, but you know, up to where you install your Reaper. But the easy way to find that folder is just go into options, show Reaper resource path and select effects. And that's the folder you want to just copy that into and it'll work. So actually what we could do is we'll put it on the track that I've got my vocal on at the moment. So if you go in and you search in your J, now it's going to be in a JS folder and just look for re-EQ. Okay. Now what this is, if we open it up, what this is, is an amalgamation, as far as I can work out from reading through the forums, of re-EQ and re-spectrum um, analyzer. But he's also added in some uh, mid-side um, possibilities you can you know work in mid side etc etc we'll go through and he's added some curves etc which is it's just fantastic i mean I'm, i was just blown away when i saw this and i thought why am i not finding any videos about this because this should be you know getting talked about here now what i'll do um i'll switch this off from the master send and i will um add in a tone generator in here um, let's just put in some white noise. Okay, I'll put that before the EQ. Okay, so now what we can do is we can have a look, and as you can see, you've got the spectrum analyzer in here. So let's uh, extend this. It's the view is extendable. The window uh, is, you know, you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, so let's just close that down. So let's just go through some of the shapes. So as usual with ReQ, if you click down here, you get a high pass filter. If you click way up here, you get a low pass filter. Okay. Um, click in the middle and you get a, a normal peak filter. But you can have low cut, low cut Butterworth, low shelf, high shelf, high cut. But you also get notch, band pass, and all pass, which basically does nothing. But anyway, um, so let's go through it. So we've got a peak as our first. Now, not only do you get a peak, but you can choose stereo placement and you can choose this to be a mid or a side processor okay so we have mid side capabilities in this um, low cuts is a normal low cut you can change the the uh, slope 
by clicking on control and mouse wheel or right clicking and you get the slope size here but you can just click control or command on a, a Mac and with your mouse wheel you can change that okay um, we can also get a Butterworth, which doesn't do a lot until you get a little bit into higher uh, slopes and you can see it's a, a much um, sharper uh, drop off. Yeah. So as you can see, on the initial kind of slope, if I change it back to a normal uh, low cut, there's no difference. Um, if I put it into Butterworth, as soon as you steepen the slope, that's where you notice the difference. And if I do that in a, a normal low cut, you see the slope's much, much um, calmer. It's not quite as tight. Okay. So then we got uh, a low shelf, obviously, and that you can play around with with your your mouse butt, your mouse wheel, and change the the Q value on that to give you different shapes. You've got a high shelf, same thing. Play around. Um, you got high cut, which is the same as the low cut and exactly the same if you, with your slope and exactly the same if you use the Butterworth, you get the tighter um, curve there, as you can see. Uh, then we get up into a notch, so you can do a notch filter, and again with your Q, you can tighten it or loosen it up. Don't know how tight that will get. Yeah, it'll get pretty tight notch in there. Okay, and then you've also got a band pass, so you know you can just listen to a particular band, and if you're looking for a problem, you can sweep up and down and find it. The only thing is I say that this doesn't have, at least that I haven't found yet, please correct me if I'm wrong, is the solo function that you get in Fab Filter Pro Q where I can like put the headphones little pin on the Fab Filter and just solo out this band so that's all that I hear. So yeah, but this is a, a fantastic EQ. It's got the, the real clean, excellent background of re-EQ. Plus we've got the, the, the Spectrum um, Analyzer, plus we've got mid-side. I mean, before you had to use all these mid-side decoders and encoders, etc., in a in a chain, in a, in a track to be able to do this. Now we've got this EQ. And thank you very much. My screen's just gone blank. What's his name? Uh, Nit So Suj. I don't know. N-I-T-S-U-J. All links to, to the forum post on this will be in the description. I've been using it for two days now. That's all I've, I've had it for. And to be honest with you, there's nothing that I did with ProQ that I can't do with this now. This does everything that I was doing before. So guys, go check this out. I will put links in the description to the forum post so you can download this for yourself. Install it into your Reaper. It's a fantastic example of the Reaper community providing tools for us all. It's just what it should be about. Okay, so appreciate you watching. Appreciate the kind comments. And I'll, I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye now.